Welcome back to 5 Minute Kerbal. We are talking about ways to add stability to rockets. One of the other ways we can do that is using RCS, that is the reaction control system. We need a different type of fuel, so pull off your rocket fuel tanks here, go up to the propulsion tab, and find... there it is. The, uh, let's see, RCS fuel tank. Uh, let's see, the uh, FL-R25, I believe, is the one that fits here. Yep. Just put that on there. And now, basically, anywhere on here is going to have access to that, that fuel tank. So you can go up to the control system tab and find the RV-105 RCS thruster block. Those things look very familiar to anyone who's maybe seen Apollo 13 or whatever. So go ahead and slide all the way down to the bottom. We're going to put some on here, but we need to put four of them. So we are going to use symmetry mode. So we hit the X button. To get to four times symmetry mode, we'll put some there. We will also put some up at the top. So now RCS will shoot out little jets of uh, liquid propellant. I don't know if it's liquid, it's something. It shoots out little jets of propellant of some sort to help keep us straight or help us go in the direction we want to go in. So T for SAS, throttle up, and there we go. Now we're going. Um, if we want to change directions now, we have the reaction wheels, we have the thrust vector, and we have the winglets. We also have RCS. But that only works if you hit the R key to turn on RCS right there. So now you can see that they're pushing out little thrust. I'm just rocking back and forth with the A and the D keys. Okay. So that's very useful. It's much, it's uh, almost a must have in space, especially when you're doing like docking maneuvers for a space station and things like that. Pretty much got to have that. One thing to note your RCS fuel, this little fuel can up here, if you mouse over it, it'll show you your fuel. If you click on it, it'll show it permanently. Having SAS on and RCS on at the same time, SAS will use whatever mechanisms it has at its disposal to keep your rocket pointed the direction you want it pointed. That does mean that it will drain your uh, SAS, I mean your monopropellant, which is what the RCS uses. So the only way to know how much monopropellant fuel you have left, RCS fuel, is up here. And with SAS, it will drain. You can see it's slowly draining right now. And if I do that, you'll see it's actually draining much faster. But RCS is very cool. All right, let's revert flight back to the vehicle assembly. Say we don't want to use RCS. Get rid of that. Say instead we're gonna use a better reaction wheel. So let's see, I think this one is the right size. So basically well, this is the advanced inline stabilizer. It is just a better reaction wheel than the one that's in the command module. Get rid of those. And essentially what that means is that you have these spinning wheels and you can harvest torque from them to turn the rocket to a certain direction. And having one of these little modules that you put in the middle of your rocket somewhere means that your rocket turns a lot faster than if you did not have one. And that just means a very much more responsive rocket. Um, it's not so noticeable here because, well, for starters, we have all these other things. We have these really great winglets. We have our thrust vectoring engine and all that other stuff. But when you get to some of the big rockets, then having one of these reaction moves is almost a must because they're just so darn unwieldy sometimes. And, and then you'll, it'll take you like three minutes to go find the vector that you want to thrust along to, you know, make an orbit or whatever. If you have one of these reaction wheels, it makes it a lot easier. So, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about today for 5-Minute Kerbal, so we'll see you next time.